I can have you as well. I got into contact with a guy on uh, Facebook. I seen he had a real to real machine for sale. Okay, hang on, I like that. But um, it was a TAC, so it was a non functional. Had a spoil tape and everything on it, but uh, I it was uh, it sold. But we kept talking anyway, and turns out this guy, um, yeah, he's into the ham radio field and everything. He's got a mate who's been in the Air Force, he's got a, was a HF ham a radio engineer, a broke, uh, like similar to a broadcast engineer in the Air Force in the Navy, so in his late 70s now, but he had heaps of oscilloscopes, he's got radios galore, ham gear, um, boom boxes, oh, I've got a, um, Gonna possibly, very, very possibly, gonna get a box of 300 new old stock black and white TV and radio valves. So that's gonna be awesome. So all that sort of stuff. So that's all my vintage stuff. I'm gonna get some parts for. So and um, yeah, we've got the like wanted and uh, he's fixing up some boom boxes and I can uh, give him some advice and tips and tricks. In my experience fixing boom boxes. So it's gonna be a uh, sort of stuff we can uh, get in. We can do is he yeah, um, fixes up old push box and old sewing machines for people, which is um, got some good old engineering stuff like old plasma cutters, old welders, lathe trick tips and tricks. So I could learn a couple of things too. It's gonna be awesome, but yes, yeah, so this old guy when he um, is in the stage in his life where he wants to get rid of his stuff, so and he's got a lot of old vintage electronics galore. Uh, valve amplifiers in Amit has got it so looks like we're going to be in for a, a nice um, treat hopefully I get in contact with this other guy so I'm going to have possibly of um, valves or amplifiers radios TVs old beam boxes anything like that so that's going to be awesome I get a lead on that okay I got this radio cleaned up and working clean the heads and the pinch roller Got it all way gate up, it works good. I dropped the better almost a volt there on the input. Not too bad, it's got some current. I'd say it's 10 amps I can deliver, so I've got it set limit at 5.5 amps, that's all I can pull out of that. I've got a 2 amp fuse in the back for safety, so if it does uh, get any excessive load or a short, this will save it anyway. And that fuse is there for its protection. Let's set it for 13 for 6 volts. As you can see, it pulled about 50 watts, just over 50 watts of power. So, a very nice uh, car radio, as I said. Anything interesting I see in a car radio in a random junk shop, so I'll have a good look at it. Because, yeah, now I've scored a short wave one, like that one has got a short wave. This one has long wave, and this one's AM stereo. So, how cool is that? So I got all sorts of lead in here. For ham radio stuff, I can learn some things on this guy. He's been in the Air Force for a long time. So if I'm all, uh, not sure if a ham radio mate should probably get jealous because he knows a couple of um, ham radio guys around here. He's got some big ass um, aerials too you can put in your backyard to pick up stuff with. It's quite uh, Yeah, a bit, I'll fit it in my backyard. It'd be bloody high though. It's at least 60 foot high, big aerial. Probably uh, I'm gonna do my shed. I sit on top of my new shed. <laughs> do my um, shortwave DXing because my boom boxes are good for that. And this radio has uh, shortwave. Uh, doesn't have um, SSB though. No single side band. But it's pretty good. I'll give it a try one night when I get a chance. We'll see what sort of um, stations you can pull in overseas with this radio. It's a very uh, well made tape deck by Clarion. I don't know what Nissan it is, but it's from some some sort of a Nissan from um, what well, looks like the mid to late 80s. Just what I style of that lady there. That's cool. I put the IC there. I'm gonna find a DIN connector for the back of that. I think that's for an AUX input. It doesn't say anything about it on the front though, like it takes a CD or anything. So that'd be interesting to play with. I wonder if that's just some sort of a line output for an amp or something. We'll find out, we'll do some experimenting with it. All the mounting screws are intact. Anyway, not bad. It's actually, uh, yeah, getting a good lead on stuff is going to be awesome. Anyway, so I'll get some good scores coming up, hopefully. 
<laughs> by the sounds of it, I'm going to be spoiled. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.